Hello everyone, we are Matilda's Five and we have prepared the part of our favorite book to present it to you. Matilda is a little girl who happens to be a genius. Her parents don't care about her, only her teacher, Miss Honey, realizes how clever she is. In this part, her teacher goes to her house to tell her parents about her progress. But they get very angry with her as they are watching TV and they don't even want to listen. My name is Maria and I am Mrs. Wormwood. These are my partners. I am Denai and I am Sam. I am Lefteris and I am Mr. Wormwood. I am Christina and I am Lena Redrow. I am Frozen and I am Matilda. Enjoy the show. Miss Honey decides to visit Matilda's parent and talk about her future. Matilda opens the door. Hi, Miss Honey. Welcome to my home. Miss Honey walks into the house and asks, Where are your parents, Matilda? They are watching TV. Mr. Wormwood gets angry by the interruption and cries, Who is this, Matilda? This is my teacher, Miss Honey. She so has something to talk with you, Dad. While Matilda goes to the kitchen to take some drinks from Miss Honey, Mrs. Wombwood asks angrily and very rudely Miss Honey. Don't you know that we are watching our favorite program? Mr. Wombwood adds impetuously. This is most inconvenient. Why did you come back some other time? If you think some watching TV program is more important than your daughter's future, then you are not to be a parent. Why don't you switch the darn thing up and listen to me? You're so annoying. We're watching TV. Can you just stop talking and leave us? Guys, you're so noisy. Then she pauses and turns to Matilda. Hey, Wim, who told you you can bring someone here tonight, huh? Sorry, Mom. Hey, she's your daughter. How come you don't care about her? Okay, okay, fine. So what's your point? Oh, man, she don't have a point. Okay, what I'm going to tell you is... I've noticed that Matilda is doing a really great job in class and she told me that nobody taught her to multiply or to read. Oh man, you're tricked. She's lying. I don't know if Matilda's lying or not, but my point is Matilda has a brilliant mind. But I expect you knew that already. Of course I knew she could read. She spent her life up in her room with some silly books. Hey, you should be happy. A little five-year-old child is reading long island novels by Dickens and Hemingway. Doesn't that make you jump up and down with excitement? A girl to think about making herself look attractive so she can get a good husband later on. Looks is way better than books. 